Welcome back students to my studio. Miss Suzanne here, Flushing Town Hall, teaching artist with Global Arts for Global Kids. We are at day four of our mini art museum and we are gonna do portraits from a very, very famous artist. He's Chinese, he was born in 1958 and his name is pronounced Zhang Xiaogang. Zheng Xiaogang. Zheng Xiaogang. Zheng Xiaogang. Um, another simpler way. Zhang Xiaoging. Zhang Xiaoging. And this is his name starting with a Z. Zhang Xiaoging. Last name with an X. And uh, some of his artwork. Very, very interesting portraits, people. And I love that there's just a tiny bit of color and the people, the families are staring right at you. He also has been in galleries, museums all along across the world, everywhere. This is also another one of his family. Love it. Just a little bit of blue on that. Um, we're going to have a fun project. You're going to go step by step with me. I even have a little surprise in the video. This is the one that we're going to focus on today. I know it looks more like this, but we have just two people that we're going to focus on. And again, step by step, you guys will pause and then catch up when you need to. And I will show you um, how to do that. Here is a picture of Zhang Xiaogang. Zhang Xiaogang. Simplified. John Shaoging. John Shaoging. I have a little trouble. I'm learning, but I do know how to say Ni Hao. Hello. So I will see you in a minute from the other angle of my studio and we'll get started. Right, students, how fun was that? Yep, I did a little trick and I sped up my drawing. I know that was really fast, but it was one way for me to show you how you can draw and also do some shadowing, okay? Because for me to draw both of them, it might take me more than 10 minutes and I don't know if I have 10 minutes. So I basically gave you an idea of how to do the two people and do their portrait, the same style, drawing a U, just like we did before. A couple of things, the braids that she has, they're just X's and that's kind of a fun way to do a braid. So if you have a, a hair that you wanted braided, you would just basically add X's inside. Okay, so that's one idea. Um, I used my pencil for shadowing. I did not use any color pencils on this. If you have any, feel free to use color pencils. Um, I'm going to do another version slower without the shadowing so you guys can um, understand how to do step by step again. But just remember the side of a pencil works just as well as having colored pencils. And my finger, so you see how I use my finger a lot? I really went in there and kind of made the face a little dirty. And the reason is that gives you great shadow. It's really important when you guys are drawing to know about shadows, like under the chin and for the cheeks. Those are beautiful, sides of the nose and stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna pause and see you back in this angle in a minute. Bye. I'm gonna slow it down now and show you how to draw the two portraits simply. I'm gonna use a dry erase and I'm gonna show you very sort of just sketching out the way I've done before so that I can give you an idea. Again, I'm doing that UV. I am drawing from the side because I'm looking at it from the side. So just think about that stem 
and how I'm going to turn this portrait into a strawberry. So I'm going to look at the gentleman now, doing about the same. He's pretty close, a little bit taller. So I'm also going to do that UV. And because I have a dry erase and I'm not giving it a headache, I'm drawing pretty lightly. I'm able to erase pretty nicely too. Okay. So now I'm going to give him a stem floating above the UV. I'm going to come around and another strawberry, almost like twins, right? Okay, for her, I'm going at the top and I'm going to come up and around to the side because she actually has her hair in braids. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you on the side. We all have two ears. Again, they kind of look like half a peanut. All right, right there. They're also good placeholders for the other um, parts of your facial features. His is a little different. So even though I'm going to come up, and around on both sides, because you see it kind of comes out, his hair comes down. So I think what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna come down and around, and because you draw drawing lightly, you can erase. And it kind of looks like Elvis there, if I do say so. Again, you've got that half a peanut on either side for the ears. Half a peanut. Now, what's really cool about the ears is the top of the ears is a placeholder for the eyebrows. So everyone's got two eyebrows. I'm going to do two on either side. The bottom of the nose is kind of like a placeholder for um, the bottom of the ears, sorry, for your nose. So that's a good way for you to know where your nose is going to go. They go up at the very corner, and I know it's hard to do two that match, but we're just going to try. Your basketball is in the middle, and you can't really see the pupil because I have a brown pen that I'm filling in quickly. Okay, great. Now, he has the nose that comes down on one side right from the eyebrow. So you could leave your nose like that, but I think I'm going to erase it the way that I usually do is a C, the little tiny nostril, dip down, nostril, and a backward C. Same thing on this side. A C, a little, like a, almost a dot, a dip down dot, and a backward C. Everyone has this little teardrop underneath your nose. That is called a divot. It's also a placeholder for M for mountain and your little smile. M for mouth or mountain and the smile. So this is a good time to kind of look at the chin. Maybe I need to just make it a little bigger. This is where you want to just sort of play with your art a little bit. If there's something that you don't like, you can change it, add. Don't forget the neck. The neck is really important to hold up that strong head of yours, all right? What's cool about her, she has braids. They come sticking out from the side, right? And what you do is you just make X. X marks the spot for her braid. Um, X, just like that. And then everything is shapes, okay? So it could be triangle for the bows and the hair that sticks out. And then same thing with her, her shirt. I do a V and then look at those triangles. They're amazing. Triangle, triangle. Same thing with him. You can do a V, and I see the triangle. And same thing on this side, although it's hard to see because I, I got that in the way. And shoulders. And then they have these ties, which also you can just make shapes. More triangles. 
You can do however you want to do it. Anyway, that's a simple version of, let's say his name one more time. Zhang Shaogong. Zhang Shaogong. I'll see you in my studio. Okay, that was really fun. And I know I surprised you with a little bit of a video that was high speed. And I'm sorry if that was confusing, but I thought it would be fun just to also show you another way. Um, I took the liberty to just add a little bit more to the drawing so you guys can see a little more shadow. Um, I love that there's just a little bit of red that I added, but it is amazing with your pencil and, a, and your finger, what you can do for blending, blending shadows to create more depth and where the light source comes in. It's part of uh, learning how to draw a little bit more um, like a fine artist. And you can do this with your own finger. You can also use um, just Q-tips. That's a pretty cool blending tool. As you can see, my finger is from the pencil. Q-tips are great. Just make sure they're clean. Don't use the ones from your ears. Ew. Okay. Um, I just want you to know that that was really fun today. And the fact that um, our artist, Zhang, let me say it one more time here. Zhang Xiaogang. Zhang Xiaogong uh, knew that he wanted to be an artist by the time he was 17. Uh, his parents did give him crayons when he was quite young to keep him out of trouble. And uh, he just loved to draw and it was all practice, practice, practice. So this was fun. And tomorrow will be our last day together with a new artist. And then we have to put our mini art museum together. So have a great day. Um, remember, you can find uh, all the lesson plans that you need with the vocabulary words for every day. And they are just part of the uh, video series here at Flushing Town Hall. See you tomorrow.